Hi, I'm Sophie Kruger, and this is the story of how Sister Jean became a meme. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's such a bad pour. <laughs> Spicy. So Sister Jean was born in 1919 in California, which is crazy because if she makes it to 100, Loyola is going to make so much money off of her that it honestly pisses me off. So she knew that she wanted to be a nun in the third grade, and so she kind of like worked her way up to that point. She started like working the college circuit as a nun, and so she ended up at Loyola University Los Angeles, which then turned into what is now Loyola Marymount. From there she got transferred to Mundelein College, which was an all-women's college occupying the building that is now known as Mundelein. Then Mundelein merged with Loyola, and the rest is kind of history because she became the basketball team chaplain and sort of was like a local celebrity. Like I remember when I first got to Loyola, she would walk around and like look at people and Damon and everyone would be like, that's Sister Jean. And it was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna pour this the right way now. 2018, maybe in January, my dad texted me and was like, Loyola is really good at basketball now. And I was like, okay. I got down to like the end of it it being the basketball season. They got to the NCAA tournament and people were like super excited and I think they ended up winning by like one point. Like no one expected the basketball team to win at all. And they had taken all of the books out of the bookstore and replaced them with um, Sister Jean merchandise because as the basketball team continued to win, the marketing angle, the like the school and like sort of the world was working was like Sister Jean because she gets wheeled out to like pray before games. And Sister Jean is like really into basketball and like knows a lot about basketball. Like she was filling out a bracket and I think that this is funny that she had Loyola losing a lot earlier than um, they ended up losing. No hope even from God in our basketball team. So we get to the final four game against um, University of Michigan, Wolverines, Ann Arbor. And it was a um, pretty cool moment for like our shitty athletic program at our school. Um, but people were still like super obsessed with Sister Jean. Like grandparents were texting me being like, we love Sister Jean. And I always just thought it was funny because like, she doesn't really do much. Oh, I feel like she just like kind of wants to be chilling and like we're making her like do shit where she like has to answer emails. I think that's kind of messed up. I also don't really want to participate in like the marketing ploy for her. You know, I hope she lives forever, so. So, I don't know. Sister Jean never died. <laughs> <laughs>